Hey, gang, how's it going? Um, Sorry, weird, really weird angle. Um, and there's fireworks going up. Um, I'm going to show you how easy it is to put in one of these bass drum holes using this bass drum holes tool. It is really cool. It's very, very easy to do. This is how I do it. I have one of the uh, kicker foam pads in the bottom of this. So it's going to feel like the bottom of it. Normally I'd put the hole somewhere around here, but I'm going to put a little bit higher than that and to the right. The kicker comes up to about here. So anyway, I'm going to put it about there. If you want to get crazy and measure, go right ahead. I'm <laughs> just winging it. But anyway, so you open the thing up. It comes in this nice little pouch. Keeps things from falling apart. And it has these two sides. Very easy. One um, has a little bit of a collar to it. And then the other one fits on over the collar. So this is, you know, this is how you can kind of go, okay, I want it there. But then you take this tool, which is just a piece of plastic that has like a sort of pizza cutter sort of um, shaped blade on this edge here. And this separate piece that is a small rubberized sort of just a dot that makes a hole in the center. And what you do is you sort of measure about where the middle of the hole would be. You go like that and you go, oh yeah, that's the one. Maybe if this is a four inch hole, so um, that's about how big that's gonna be. It's about two inches, put it in the middle, blah, blah, blah. You get bigger holes, you can go all the way out here. You can cut a huge hole into this thing. So anyway, just put it in there and then put your drum head upside down on something that's a little cushy, like maybe some cardboard or something like that because what you're going to do is you're going to push this through the drum head and then spin it around it's going to cut this very easy uh, to do circle but you just need to push through something so I have a little piece of foam core here and I want the edge to be there I don't want to cut into this so I'm just going to go like that and you press it in a little bit and it holds and then you just turn it and press down on this edge There you go. So I'm just gonna, you know, go around a little just to make sure. There you go, nice and smooth. And you take it out and look at that. Just a perfect little little circle right there. And it happens to be that size because we measured it before. And there you go. And so you turn it over. Then you take the one with the collar on it, and there is double-sided tape on both sides. The tape is a little bit of a pain to, to take off. There are some air bubbles around the edge. So you can use like a screwdriver, get a hold of the air bubble and peel it up. There you go. There you go, so you take that off and you just put this part through. Whoop, I've lost some light, there you go. Just lift over, push it through and then put it down so that hopefully you can see here, the collar sort of sticks up a bit. See there? So the collar sticks up, and now you're pressing it against it, so that double-sided tape on that side is keeping this part in place. Now you take the other ring, which also has double-sided tape on it, and take that off and press it over that. Okay, now pressing this on is a little bit tight. It'll get around the edge, and then it won't like fit on the other side super well. So here's what I do. I take a kind of a, a fat, flat uh, screwdriver and just push it down a little bit as I go around the edge. Just push it down and you'll hear it snap into place as it gets around the top of it. And there you go like that. That's pretty much it. So you can press it down a little bit. Again, you might hear it go click. But because of that double-sided tape there, it is now double-sided, you know, it's hooked on this side and it's hooked on uh, the other side. There it goes. So there you go as well. Now what I've done on some of these, because I can't always get the color that I want, funnily enough, um, I'll buy a white one or a black one or whatever available, and I'll spray paint it beforehand. But anyway, the black worked just fine for this. And so there you go, that's, a, that's about how quickly you can do this. And it looks really nice and um, clean, professionally done the edges that were cut by that tool are now kind of ensconced with double-sided tape wrapped in plastic. I've done this a bunch of times 
and they've never ripped on me, ever. So I think it's a really good deal between the base drum O's themselves, which are really inexpensive, and the tool itself. And I keep this tool, I use it all the time. I've done three holes today, by the way. This is gonna be a fourth one. And on the third one, I went, hey, I should probably show these guys how easy it is to do. So anyway, thanks for watching.